again welcome back to the channel on this video let's talk about electric bicycles versus electric motorcycles are they all not really motorcycles So let's look at some of the differences between the two. So basically a motorcycle electric motorcycle is powered by a battery and an electric motor but the difference between that and an electric bicycle is that the motorcycle has more power and relies fully on the motor for power whereas an electric bicycle uses the power of the motor besides the assistance of pedaling the other difference of course would be where a motorcycle has to be insured, licensed, registered, whereas the bicycle does not have to. But what about what about if you are not pedaling your bicycle? Like right now, I'm not pedaling this bike, I'm throttling only. Does that now become a... Does that not become now a motorcycle? Because you're not pedaling. Especially if you're exceeding class 2 or 3, whether it be 20 miles an hour or 28. So it's kind of flirting with the law. As I ramp it up here to 29 miles per hour right there, Am I not becoming a motorcycle? Also, there are motor limits as to how many watts the motor can be. But to be honest with you, at least in my area here, I never see anybody policing that. I've never seen anybody pulled over on their electric bike. I don't know of anybody that's been given a warning for anything. But also, I haven't seen anybody being reckless on their bike and there's no reason they're not giving any any uh, anybody reason to pull them over so there is that but i wonder if we're going to get to the point because we are kind of flirting with the law as to where we're going in with this You know, most most e-bikes are going to be in the 30 mile per hour or less speeds, right? Say 20 to 30 miles per hour. But what about the higher powered ones? Even the one I'm riding now has capabilities of getting close to 40 miles an hour. The Lyric Graffiti. But what about the guys too who 
modify their bikes. I mean, they're basically changing the bike from what it was sold as. So really, they're doing that at their own risk, right? So they're taking what probably was a class two or three bike and making it into above class four. I think in the future, I don't know where this is going, but I think there's gonna be eventually a crackdown. I don't think it's anything they can do overnight, but I think there's, it's coming. Especially with more and more bikes getting out there. And companies are, let's face it, they are getting them just a little faster and a little faster, but they're not selling them. beyond class two or three. So if you unlock the bike, you're kind of unlocking it too at your own risk. And also this bike here that I'm riding has the switch right here, which I will turn on now. Now it's completely on road and supposed to be legal. So let's uh, ride around a little bit with that and show you. Definitely slows down and the speed takes a while to pick up here. But it still goes pretty good here. It'll go over 20 miles an hour. It just takes a while to wind up to that top speed. But I think eventually what's going to happen is they're going to... I'm not sure how they're going to go about this, but I think there's going to be a kind of like an entry level, low level, motorized vehicle. Like a really low level. I could be wrong, but I can see it coming to something eventually. I hope it doesn't happen, but I kind of think it's inevitable. And what do you think about electric bicycle versus electric motorcycle? Are they kind of all the same even though one goes faster than the other? One's a high speed motorcycle and one's a low speed motorcycle. I'm still riding around in the on-road street legal. I moved, bumped it up to level nine, which is the highest assist level on the low graffiti. I think it'll go in this mode to about 25. Let's see how fast it goes. can see that twenty three twenty four we are going into a bit of a wind today looks like twenty four miles an hour so that's a little bit above the uh, twenty class two so halfway between a class two and class three i guess class two and a half so if you have any comments on the video your opinions on this where do you think it's going and do you think that electric mo electric bicycle is kind of an electric motorcycle especially if you don't use the pedals Do you think we're going to be having new laws eventually come in of some sort on this electric bike? Or do you think they'll pretty much stay the same? I think it'll take a while, but I think I could see it in the future. And that's going to do it for 
another video here on the channel if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you very much just hit that subscribe button and you'll be subscribed if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.